Assalamualaikum everyone and welcome back to another episode of In My Opinion and my name is Amirul. Today's topic is about gig and I will share my experiences going to local underground gigs. So, let's go. So, what is gig? Gig is a live performance by a group of musicians or bands from many genres such as pop, indie rock, metal, hip hop and many more. So the first time I went to a gig was back in 2011 and I was 11 years old that time and I remember Bang Face went to my uh, high school and the name of the gig was Bang Face Back to School and the price of the ticket was only at RM20. It was cheap compared to these days. So uh, there were also other performers like Skudap Skudip, Najwa Altif and I think that is one of my favorite moments in my, in my life. So, next is I want to share my experience of meeting the performers or the musicians. So what I can say is that these local underground artists are extremely humble and friendly but I still couldn't understand why many people will condemn these guys just because they are famous but on the other hand they are pretty nice. So for example when I was a crew member in a hip hop gig named Metrono, I met Kimi Kimo. And as you guys know, Kimi Kimo, who once collaborated with Datuk Siti Nur Hariza, which made him a mainstream rapper. And when I met him, he was pretty nice and very, very friendly to me. And this shows that not all artists treat their fans badly. Next is the people or the crowd at gigs. I think there are many types of people that go to gigs. So the first one is the cameraman. The cameraman who only snaps and records during the shows. I think these guys are extremely important, especially when they are your friends because not a people get the chance to record everything during the show, even me. So when the show ends, we can ask them for, for pictures and videos. Next is true fans. True fans are the most respected guys in the crowd. Why I said so? Because these guys really enjoy the music and the performance. And I think they also brought the vibes along to the crowd. And I think without them, the crowd would be very, very boring. So guys, next is I want to share my experience being in the mosh pit and also doing crowd surfs. So what is mosh pit? Mosh is a dance but in an aggressive way. The term aggressive is when we are dancing, we are pushing and we are hitting each other. And that is moshing. Pit is the place or uh, area that we are moshing at. So there are two types of mosh pit. The first one is the wall of that and also circle pit. Next is crowd surf. I think doing crowd surf is a bonus in gigs and I always get to do it because I am easy to carry and I think doing crowd surf is something different compared to moshing and I really don't know how to describe it I suggest you guys to try it so these are the cultures that we had in gigs and mimble, many people don't understand it for me, I think that going to gigs and moshing can release our stress from works and studies and this is the reason why we do it lastly, I also get many perspectives from many people thinking that underground gigs are bad and not healthy for the teenagers these people just see from the outside but they didn't see on the inside and I believe that underground gigs are alcohol and drug free because every time we go inside, they will check on us and so far, I have never been involved in those kind of things and I think this bad perspective is still going on because of the culture that we had like moshing and all that I think it cannot be changed um, because it, or it already started from the other countries as well and Plus, I think that going to gigs not just to enjoy but also to support the bands and the music scene at the same time. For example, like buying their albums, records, merchandise and I always put in my mind that this band also have to live and eat. And we as the fans also did our good part to them. So I think that is all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and we will see you guys in the next episode of In My Opinion. Assalamualaikum, bye-bye.